By way of this presentation, I intend to encourage you as well as to equip you to influence others, to capably mitigate risk, not necessarily as the well-qualified expert, but more likely as an influential colleague, an interested stakeholder, a good citizen, a loving family member, or a gifted student that is on his or her path to a next generation leader. Our sense and ability to effectively take care of one another has many benefits that may be measured in both personal and organizational value terms, including compliance, customer experience, efficiency, stakeholder engagement, loyalty, profitability, and importantly, brand reputation. We will see that our logical, physical, emotional, and fiscal health are related. Our relative influence for incrementally improving risk mitigation outcomes benefit us, our organizations, and an increasing connected global community. I am interested to know the relative success or failure that I achieve in this endeavor, and I hope to see your comments or recommendations for improvements at ftadario at secleader.com. Understanding All Hazards Risk, Past is Prologue. William Shakespeare famously noted history has a tendency to repeat. So do natural and man-made risks. As we learn the lessons of climate change, contagion, catastrophic accidents, geopolitical intrigues, and seismic events, we must also begin to understand what may be within our control and what is not. Natural and man-made risk events will continue to test us. Our ability to mitigate catastrophic risk consequences may be largely dependent on how efficiently we attack, eliminate, or contain higher frequency, lesser risks that are theoretically within our grasp. These are improvable, if not preventable, losses that deny our resources for all hazards resilience. Understanding All Hazards Risk in Global Economics What does the multi-trillion dollar global risk landscape look like? Likelihood and severity of the hazards that confront us must inform mitigation planning. The assumptions and mapping of potential financial consequences is a daunting task perhaps better left to the economists or financial specialists within your institution or market niche. The value of the data lies in our ability to offer a global risk perspective for cross-functional teams that must navigate these considerations for local relevance. Please note the diversity and connectivity of risk. The reviewer will see interpretation keys on the left, the geopolitical events in blue, environmental impacts in green, societal hazards in orange, and technology risks in pink may require consideration by teams that look to rationalize risk mitigation investments and priorities. Each hazard is graded for likelihood by the size of the circular node. Estimated severity in U.S. billion dollar increments are depicted by the shaded outline of each node. How do your institutional assumptions of risk compare to this or other benchmarks in or out of your industry segment. Look to the World Economic Forum 2010 for additional information. Understanding man-made criminal risk. Man-made risk alone is worthy of our prioritized attention. Its consequences go beyond a multi-trillion dollar price tag. The World Health Organization warns violence may be at epidemic proportions. More people die from homicide than from attack in a war, and even more die from suicide. In fact, for every death due to war, there are three deaths due to homicide and five deaths due to suicide. Most violence happens to people behind closed doors and results not in death, but often in years of physical and emotional suffering. Our supply chains, businesses, protected information, and dependent infrastructure are under attack by organized crime and diverse terror groups. 
Understanding the criminal risk alone with its all-sector consequences is aided by Dr. Moises Naim, the editor-in-chief of Foreign Policy magazine. The former Venezuelan trade minister and executive director of the World Bank presaged his book, Illicit, How Smugglers, Traffickers, and Copycats Are Hijacking the Global Economy, with his treatise, Five Wars of Globalization, Arms, Drugs, Human Beings, Intellectual Property, and Money. Naeem warns that we are losing these wars to more nimble adversaries and makes the case for more capable international policy and enforcement coordination.